Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Drazen, and for nearly 20 years I was editor of the New England Journal of Medicine. It was a great gig, but I only had one problem. Because the journal was limited in space, we could only publish those clinical trials in which the study design and clinical implications were self-evident. The NEJM group has now had a solution to that problem. We're publishing a new journal, NEJM Evidence. One of the most interesting things about clinical research is that it is a really complex game. And we're going to be helping our readers by pointing out how to understand the way clinical trials are put together, the way they're run, and then the way they're analyzed. NEJM evidence will have clinical trials as its major original research component, but that won't be the whole story. NEJM evidence gives us an opportunity to publish great original research and contextualize it in a way that's gonna change practice and change medicine and change how we think about the generation of evidence. Our goal is really to make the method section fun. I think so often eyes glaze over when you reach that section or you skip right over it completely. We're gonna ask our readers to really engage there and we're gonna make it fun and exciting. NEJM Evidence is gonna feature a number of different review articles that are really designed to further our overall mission of encouraging our readers to question the authority of clinical trials to examine clinical trials and encouraging them to increase the rigor of their own thinking. So we're gonna do that with standard long form reviews which sum up a mature area of evidence. But we're gonna have meta-analyses and we're gonna have systematic reviews that follow published methodology for reviews. Our readers can be sure that they have up-to-date and comprehensive information on the topics that we cover. We're also gonna have a series of statistical review articles which are really designed to increase our readers' familiarity with the nuts and bolts of clinical trials so that when they read a clinical trial, they can evaluate it for themselves and make informed decisions about how it should change their clinical practice. We're gonna have a section, for example, called Stat Stat. These two minute videos that are paired with articles or statistical reviews that are teaching our audience about statistical methods. We're gonna have a section called Tomorrow's Trial. In clinical medicine, every one of us taking care of patients knows that there are things that we do day in and day out that are not based on good evidence, but based on expert opinion. And it is ripe for a challenge in the form of a randomized trial. We want trainees, we want residents and fellows, we want hospitalists and physicians in private practice, and we want clinical trialists, and we want basic scientists who will come together to further the mission of the journal, which is to really increase the examination of what we do in our everyday lives. I think it's that broad audience that's gonna lead us to nuanced conversations across the spectrum. One of the key things that we need to be aware of across medicine is whose voices that we're featuring. And how do we bring in new voices into this conversation? We hope the impact of NEJM evidence will be twofold. One is people will bring to us questions that we think need to be examined through clinical trials so that we can know rather than guess. And for the people who don't have that much input into new clinical trials, they'll know that what's published in evidence will be a guiding light for them as they diagnose and treat patients with the most up-to-date diagnostics and therapeutics.